All right, so we're at Home Depot here, and the reason I'm here is for a shave challenge. So uh, Six Solo challenged uh, myself and a few others to do a shave video where we make a lather with a shave brush. So I'm just here at a, our local Home Depot going through all the options, and it's going to take a minute because there are quite a few options. I was actually surprised at how many options there were. I guess I shouldn't be. America is generally known for having quite a few options for, especially as far as the hardware stores go, uh, which is cool. So just browsing here through the many options. There's a varying price range from, you know, single digits to double digits. And uh, I don't know, I guess just an interesting thing learned here is that there are so many types of paintbrushes. And I guess there's a lot of different types of painting. I mean, I've done a bit of painting myself. And, uh, you know, I've done the trim. I've done interior and exterior. But even then, I usually go with just the basic stuff, right? I'm not like a professional painter and I don't need a professional paintbrush so I normally stick with the uh, cheaper options a lot of people end up who end up painting end up ruining their brushes and stuff anyway by not washing them out on time so lots of options here and uh, it looks like we're gonna be going with the economy basic here because I'm pretty basic and uh, I think I might take this uh, little paint uh, bowl with us as well to to make the lather just make it a little more fun What's up shavers, welcome to another shave video. So today we are doing a tag by Sig Solo. So we had come up with an idea. We He had seen a video that Jim Co Shaves did uh, with shaving with a paintbrush, okay? So <clears throat> we're turning it into a tag series and uh, I've been tagged. So this is the shave. Uh, I will show you the gear. Um, I went and bought, so he, he went and bought the nicest paint or one of the nicest painter brushes he could find. And I'm more of an economy guy. I'm a, uh, more of a minimalist. So what I did is I went and bought one of the most affordable brushes I could find. Basic economy. Okay. And I wanted one that I thought would fit uh, well in a shave bowl. I believe this is synthetic. It's a two inch, 50.8 millimeter, uh, two inch brush, right? China. Super simple. And uh, I want to take it one step further. I soaked the brush already. And I decided to get a little painter's bowl as well. Um, I don't know if you had that idea, but uh, why not try it out? <clears throat> if it doesn't work, we will uh, switch over to a, the regular brush. So if you haven't seen the original videos, go check out Jim Co Shaves and Sig Solo uh, before this video. So this is a tag video. I will be tagging three people at the end uh, and I'll go over the rules at the end as well. So the soap we're gonna be using today is a soap that was sent to me by a good buddy of mine, Tony. This is a uh, iced sugar cookie. It's a towel and shave formula by the Olive Blossom Shave, or the Olive Blossom Soap Company. Um, I've only, I haven't lathered it up with a paintbrush before. Uh, part of the rules is no trying it out beforehand. This one's very dark, by the way. Um, but my wife has used this, and I have practiced lathered this with another brush. Um, completely different new soap to me. I really don't know what to expect from it. So I wet down the brush. Um, it's kind of a, I don't know, it's a croak. So, all right. I'm gonna put some of that water in here. I'm gonna load really heavy. <laughs> Gotta be careful how you fling that paintbrush. It flings stuff everywhere. <clears throat> so yeah, I don't know how this is gonna go. So I'm gonna load really stinking heavy here. Really dig in. Got water dripping out of the brush a lot. Man, this can make a mess. We can always come back and reload too, but I believe that's quite a bit of soap. 
hopefully that's gonna work here so I'm just gonna paint it on the inside of here real quick got a bunch of water dripping on this handle <clears throat> and uh, I'm gonna tilt you guys down so you can see the lathering process here so I don't have to make too much of a mess I don't think it's working as well as his brush. His brush was a little bit thicker, which was smart. <clears throat> thicker this way, like not like tall wise, but in the brush length here. I mean, it's not hard. It's hard. It takes a little bit more time, obviously, because it's bigger. It's a little airy. As long as it's hydrated well enough. I think we're gonna call that good. We're gonna we're gonna give that a try. Let me switch you guys here. Alright. Alright, wet down the face. And uh we will only be painting as this is a paintbrush. Tell you what, paint, it does, it does that really well. <laughs> you can turn it sideways and get in close to your ear. That's nice. That's not too bad. I uh, think there are other soaps that this brush might be better with. But you know, first try, so we'll see how it goes. Paint the hair out of the way. All right, not bad, I think that's all right. So we're gonna be using, what uh, razor do we want here? Let's go with the Rockwell 6C plate six. It's been a couple days since I've had a shave. And we're going to use, let's see, what blade do we want? We're going to try this blade out. Also a new blade. Lots of new stuff. The Tatara, Tatra, Tatra blade. Pretty interesting. Made in Czech Republic. Super papery. Even the uh, wax paper is kind of paper here and not glued on is it glued on oh yeah it does have the glue dots on the back okay so uh this is the platinum version and Wait, setting six. The soap is kind of stingy a little bit. <laughs> it, oh, by the way, sugar cookies, it smells exactly like sugar cookies. Uh, very, very sweet scent. And a pretty strong scent as well. So I'm going to do two passes today to keep this short. I'm going to do it with the grain and then against the grain. Maybe a cleanup. We'll see how it goes.
I find that when you grow out your hair for a few days, I get a, a better shave. Two to four days, up to a week, you get a, a cleaner and quicker shave the first go around. Very nice. That's a hit. That's a hit. All right. Get a nice healthy glob of uh, that. Tell you what, if you're in a hurry, that'll boo you up real quick. This gives a whole new meaning to the reason of, uh, or the definition of face painting, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, <clears throat> it works. By the way, this brush was like two or three dollars, I believe. Nice blade, I like this blade a lot. The Tatra Platinum. Yeah, I wound up doing three passes. Just a cleanup pass at the end here. This is uh this with and then against the grain pass is kind of new to me. It could be a little tender, not knocking down as much stubble as I could beforehand. I will say this stuff does have a bit of a stinging effect on the face. Not terrible, but uh, it has a lot of scent in here. So I'm guessing that's what the that deal is. My face is still getting used to shaving after having a beard though. Because I actually haven't been shaving every day. Pretty decent shave there. I'll go ahead and uh, cold water rinse here. All right. So, if 
final thoughts here. That works. If you are in a pinch, or if you want to try it out for fun, that definitely works. So, um, perfectly fine, acceptable shave. And uh, we even got lather left over. Let's see if I can show you that. Decent amount of it. But we're going to use that for a head shave now. And we'll see you in the next video. Oh, and uh, I will tag people uh, separate from this uh, as well in a second. All right, for this tag uh, for the paintbrush uh, lather um, challenge, I would like to tag the traveling shaver. I would like to tag Lather Hog, and I would like to tag Sinatra Lennon. I have pretty low hopes that will happen, but I think it'd be very entertaining to see him do it. He's usually a pretty interesting kind of guy. So uh, cheers, mates. We'll see you later.